The Victoria and Albert Museum has a permanent collection of more than 2 million objects from over 5,000 years of human history. In this video, I explore its architectural history whilst drawing it to appropriate music. The V&A is another building in South Kensington in this ongoing series of mine exploring London architectural history. It is yet another product of the Albertopolis and the Great Exhibition of 1851. Founded in 1852, the museum was originally known as the Museum of Manufactures and was housed in Marlborough House. It strove to educate the masses on the essence of good design, and its collection showcased all manner of furniture, artwork and elaborate objects. The museum was constantly growing, and so in 1857 moved to a larger temporary structure near the site of the original Great Exhibition. With Prince Consort Albert's many cultural efforts in this part of London, the area swiftly gained popularity. Then renamed as South Kensington, of course this area remains a cultural hotspot today. The V&A's collection was expanding so rapidly that new additions to the building were constantly made to accommodate. The museum's already criticised architecture became less and less coherent. Therefore, architect Aston Webb was hired to rectify this problem, and he is responsible for the majority of the grand exterior, in particular the red brickwork and detailed terracotta dressings. In her last public duty, Queen Victoria herself laid the foundation stone of the new building, and it was at this point the museum was renamed after Victoria and Albert. The building was finally finished in 1909. The architectural history of the V&A seems as vast as its collection of artefacts, so I really encourage you to go and learn more about it. Through the various expansions, several different architects worked on the museum, and even within Webb's own contributions, you can see inspiration from Italian Renaissance, Gothic, and Romanesque architecture within the same building. Music for this video is Jupiter from The Planets by Gustav Holst. The Planets is an orchestral suite written between 1914 and 1916. Each movement corresponds to a different planet in the solar system. Thank you so much for watching. If you've made it this far, please do subscribe to my channel. You can do that by clicking up on the image of my face to the right. I make videos every single week, and the majority of those for the time being are going to be along the same theme, exploring the history of London architecture.